In this video, we're going to go over two basic operations that can be performed on vectors using graphical methods without using any explicit calculations. Specifically, we are going to be looking at scalar multiplication. That's the first one. And vector addition, that's the second one. Let's start by looking at scalar multiplication. Scalar multiplication is the multiplication of a vector by a real number. So I'm going to give some examples to show how this works. Just to frame the figure, I'm going to draw a dashed line through here. That's not a vector, but it will help us with our figures. And I'm going to start by just drawing a vector A. Okay, so scalar multiplication is the multiplication of a vector by a real number, this is vector A. So we might wanna figure out what does the vector two times A look like? Now, if you think you can take a shot at it, you can pause the video and try and draw vector two times A yourself. Okay, so this is what vector two times A would look like. Vector two times A would be twice as long as vector A, but pointing in the same direction. So here's vector A. Here's vector two times A. Okay. Or we could try to draw the vector A divided by two. You can try to draw that one on your own before I draw it on here. Vector A over two would point in the same direction as vector A, but it would be half as long. Now see if you can predict what vector minus A is gonna look like. Vector minus A is gonna be in the same, uh, vector minus A is going to have the same length as vector A, but it's going to point in the exact opposite direction. So if this is vector A here, we can come in here and draw a vector of the same length with the exact opposite direction. That would be vector minus A. Okay. Now see if you can draw on your own vector minus two times A. Vector minus two times A would point in the exact opposite direction as two A. And be twice as long as A. Okay, so Vector minus A can be constructed by taking vector A and flipping it around. Vector minus 2A can be taken by taking vector 2A and flipping it around. Okay, so that's scalar multiplication. Next topic I'd like to discuss is vector addition. So vector addition is another operation that can be performed on vectors graphically without doing any explicit calculations. Now, later on, we'll learn how we can do uh, scalar multiplication and vector addition by explicit calculations. But for now, we're just learning how to do those using graphical methods. Okay, so vector addition. Vector addition. Vector addition is the addition of two vectors in order to produce a third vector as the sum. Okay, so in vector addition, we add two vectors together. And 
in order to get a third vector as the sum. So I'll go through a couple examples here. Let me start by drawing a vector A and the vector B. I would like to construct the vector sum A plus B. So if this is vector A and this is vector B, what would vector A plus B look like? So here's the idea. Imagine that these two vectors are icons on the screen of a laptop. And you know, when you have icons on the screen of a laptop, you can click and drag. And when you click and drag an icon on the screen of a laptop, you do not change the orientation and you do not change the size, at least usually you don't. What you do is you just pick that thing up and you put it down somewhere else at the same size and the same orientation, okay? So just imagine that I'm going to click on vector B and drag it, and I am going to place vector B in such a fashion so that the tail of vector B touches the tip of vector A. Okay, so just take vector B, we're gonna move it over, and then placing vector B so that the tail of vector B touches the tip of vector A. So this is what we call tip to tail addition. Right? It's called tip to tail addition because the tip of one vector is touching the tail of the other vector. Now, once I have those two vectors placed in that manner with the tip of one vector touching the tail of the other, now I can draw the vector sum A plus B and I draw the vector sum A plus B by going from the tail of vector A to the tip of vector B. Okay, so this would be vector A plus B. Okay. Now, suppose that you were looking at this figure of the three vectors and you did not know which of the two vectors was being added? Oh, suppose you did not know which of the two vectors were being added together to get the third vector, right? If you didn't know which of the two vectors were being added together to get the third vector, how could you figure it out, okay? What you would do is look to see where there was a tip to tail connection, okay? Is there a tip to tail connection here? No, that's just two tails. Is there a tip to tail connection here? No, that's two tips. Is there a tip to tail connection here? Yes, we have the tip of one vector touching the tail of the other. So it must be that these two vectors here are being added to produce that third vector. Okay. Now I'd like you to try one on your own. I'm going to give you two different vectors. Let's say that this is vector B. And this is vector A. See if you can construct vector A plus B. And when you construct vector A plus B, do it in such a way that you are moving vector B so that the tail of vector B touches the tip of vector A. After you have done that, you can do it in the reverse direction. You can construct vector B plus vector A. When you construct vector B plus vector A, you can do it the other way. You can take vector B, you can take vector A and shift it over so that the 
tail of vector A touches the tip of vector B. Then construct the vector sum and see if you get anything the same or different as when you just did A plus B. Okay, so you can pause the video and try those on your own. And when you come back, I'll show you how to do those two. You can compare that to your own work. All right, so let's do vector A plus vector B. Just copy vector A over on the new sheet. Try and draw it parallel to the direction it is here. Okay, so to construct vector A plus vector B, I'm going to imagine it's an icon on your desktop, click and drag and place vector B so that the tail of B touches the tip of A. Okay. So there's your tip to tail connection right there. So what would be vector A plus vector B? So we go from the tail of A to the tip of B Okay, and there we have the vector sum, A plus B. So now we're gonna do it the other way and see if we get anything different. Now I'm gonna start here by just making a copy of vector B, same as it is over here, same length, same direction. Okay. Now I'm gonna think about clicking and dragging A so that the tail of A touches the tip of B so just click and drag until A is right there. And we want all our drawings of A to be in the same orientation. Okay. So you notice the tip to tail connection that tells us that those two vectors are being added together. And now to construct the sum, I go from the tail of B to the tip of A. And this vector here must be vector B plus vector A. All right, now how does vector A plus B, how does vector A plus vector B over here compare to vector B plus vector A over here? Are they the same length? Yes. Are they the same direction? Yep. So how about that? Vector A plus vector B equals vector B plus vector A, All right? So now we have been introduced to scalar multiplication and vector addition. Both of those are operations done on vectors which can be represented using graphical methods. We will learn the computational methods later. In the next video, we will show how a subtraction of two vectors can be uh, represented graphically.